I'm an only child. After saying that, I most likely will be subjected to various stereotypes regarding only children. However, I'm not here to go meet Buster on those stereotypes. Instead, I'm going to talk about what it was like for me growing up as an only child. Being an only child means I have no brother or sister. Pretty simple explanation. Meaning, my parents only have me to be fed and grown into a responsible adult. And by default, all toys in the house are mine. I don't have to share my bedroom with anyone else. And every single food item in the house is for me to harvest. I wish. You think that since my parents only have a single daughter, they would spoil me rotten. That's the number one That's the number one conception people brought up when they found out that I'm an only child. They thought my parents would build me a gold castle and let me get away with a murder or something. I don't get why being spoiled is a bad thing. I feel like it's in all parents to make their children happy to the best of their abilities. Parents want to provide their kids with the best toys and the best food as much as possible. And I think it's a very good thing. Now, if the parents are treating their kids like kings without teaching them how to be good people, that's when we'll have a problem. My parents did their best to satisfy my every need and keep me happy, but at the same time making sure I know manners and good morals. And I'm forever be grateful, which is why I'm not complaining being an only child. But that's all the perks that I can think of. People often think that only children are lonely. I'm not gonna lie, it does feel like that sometimes. When I was younger, there were times I looked at my friends who had siblings with envy, for most of the times. There were times I wished to talk to somebody else other than my parents and nanny at home, or having a playmate when my friends were unavailable. When I talked to my friends, it felt like there was another world that I didn't know of. Hey, wanna play in my home tomorrow? Sorry, I have to watch my baby brother. You bought quite a lot. You must really like that snack. Not really. These are for my brother and sister. Many of my friends thought that I was so lucky that I didn't have to share my toys and food at home or fight for it. They had a point, but sometimes I entertain the idea of having an older brother or sister. But now that I'm looking back, I realize that it didn't bother me too much. I'm already used being alone at home, and I think you cannot miss what you never have. By the way, last year, my mom said that since she hasn't entered menopause yet, she asked me if I want a sibling. Why would I want a sibling young enough to be my own kid? Let's talk about my social skill, which I think not very interesting. I was a very quiet and reserved kid, and people around me kinda knew it right on the first sight. Of course, it had to do with the fact that I only talked to dolls at home. I don't know if being an only child has to do with it, but most of the times I felt like I didn't fit in with most of my peers. I was always that one lone kid who tried to merge in with a certain group, but I had no idea what I was doing the entire time. Having no siblings means I didn't have to compete with anyone at home, which caused me to be a very passive kid. I didn't have any desire to compete with other kids to win over anything. When the kids were racing toward the playground to secure a swing or being the first to use the slide, I will just trail behind, quietly, and wait for the others to finish using playground equipment. Or at the very least, I could just play with the dirt. Haha, <laughs> my hand touched the hot wheel first. Therefore, it is rightfully mine to play with. Oh, okay. No? Don't you want to play with this sparky red car? I want to, but since you got it first, I can just pick something else. But, but this isn't how it's supposed to be. You should be screaming at me, chasing me around and beating me up just to try and get this toy. What's wrong with you? No. Why should I? Ah, my pride will not allow me to have this small, unworthy toy car without a good old children fight. Come on. Grab that end, and then start pulling. And if I win, I get the prize. But I told you, you can have it. Come on, fight me. Fight me! But... Fight me! <laughs> fight me, come on, come on. 
In my mind, if I couldn't have it now, I could have it tomorrow or any other day. I thought that eventually I would get what I want, so I didn't bother to fight anyone. Of course, that was just when I was a kid. Now I know that the world doesn't work that way. Early birds get the worm, baby! On the other hand, not having siblings also affects my ability to share. For example, if I'm in a room with some other kids and there's a big jar of cookies close by, I will just assume they're all mine. Now, this doesn't mean that I'm a selfish douchebag. I'm not against sharing my things with other people. It's just that sharing won't be the first thing on my mind. So if you see me in real life and you wanna try some of my chips, don't give me long stares or trying to send telepathic message to me. Just ask me nicely. I won't bite you. Because I'm trying to make connection with other people. Despite my introvert nature, I keep searching for a soulmate. I know that if I make a negative impression, people will not want to hang out with me. And as if I need to be more alone than I already am. Regardless of everything, I'm happy with my upbringing and I won't have it any other way. I may not have the experience of siblinghood, but being an only child taught me how to be strong and independent person. I know how important it is to stay loyal to our friends, and in the end, being an only child doesn't make me more different than other people, and I don't need to become the stereotypes the society has placed onto me. Whew, would you look at that? It's pretty long video. Goes to show that if you put your mind into it, anything is possible. Special thanks for Danny Doodles for contributing his beautiful and awesome idea to my wordless video. But seriously, animating Danny is pretty fun, I'm not gonna lie. And anyway, see you guys in the next video, which probably will be in the January, so see you again next year and Merry Christmas. Bye! <laughs>